we have to approve or pass the required inspection? To make that change before the second reading, right? Okay. Okay, that's all I had. Thanks. All right. Moving on to business items, first item, consider <coughs> approval of dates for the November and December BMA meetings. Past the Board of Mayor and Alderman have chosen to cancel the second meeting in November due to Thanksgiving and the second meeting in December due to Christmas. Due to the National League of Cities Conference, the suggested dates for meeting the meeting in November and December is Tuesday, November 15th, and then for December, Thursday, December 8th. To cancel, and so our proposed motion is to cancel the meeting of November 24th and December 22nd and to hold the meeting for November on Tuesday, November 15th, and the meeting for December on Thursday, December 8th. Sounds good. Everybody okay with that? I'm okay. Well, I move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Next is consider approval of elect voting delegate one and alternate voting delegates two to the National League of Cities Conference. <clears throat> Agenda items, as you said, to elect the voting delegates for the National League of Cities in December. Each year, the Board of Mayor and Aldermen will elect a voting delegate and two alternates. At the annual business meeting on Saturday, December, November 12th, the Town of Ferret is entitled to cast one vote based on the 2000 population. So tonight, you need to nominate one person for your vote and then two alternate votes. And as, as of today, Alderman LaMarche is the only one that has signed up. What are the I dates? Vote then. What are the dates? Um, <laughs> the, the business meeting date is November 12th. I think it's, I want to say it's the 11th through the 15th. For, that sticks in my head for some reason. Well, I really want to go, and I'm planning on going. Okay. Um, just kind of working on my schedule, but I'm, unless something drastic comes up, I'm planning on going. Anybody else uh, thinking about it? Well, I think I'm, I probably will. That would be great. I know that I cannot. I have a business conflict during that exact same time frame. I agree with that. <laughs> Does it ask for multiple alternates? Yes, there's two, two. alternates. Okay. That works. I'll yeah. make that motion. Prove uh, Vice Mayor LaMarche and Alderman Markley as the alternate voting delegates. They would say aye. 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 <clears throat> When's the deadline for um, signing up? I'll check tomorrow and let you all know. Yes. Okay. And Antonio, two years ago. As well as the hotel. Okay. <coughs> Next item is uh, consider one. approval of special event directional signage for the 2011 Parade of Homes. This request is similar to the request they've, that this group has had in the past. <coughs> These home sites, will, there's one parade home in the town of Farragut this year, and it's in Inverness, so that our signage will be kind of low, as, unlike other years. The, the requested place from the directional signs is illustrated in your attachments. The signs will be erected Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays beginning September 30th through October 16th. And the most proposed motion is the approval of the proposed placement of special event directional signage within the town of Farragut right away for the 2011 Parade of Homes. Kingston Pie Concord Road, uh, Turkey Creek Road, right? It's the same number of signs they've used before. It's actually fewer because they only have one home that's yeah. on the parade okay. in the town of Verrett this year. Okay. Now, is this signage that can't go up until after 5 on Friday and, and uh, ends up in the town dump? <laughs> no. <surface>? No, because <coughs> it's been approved by you guys. So, 
So they're so, going to, so they're putting it up Fridays and they said they'll have it down sometime Mondays. Okay. They'll put it up each week, but it has been approved. Well, so it goes up Friday it. during the Friday morning. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. But since it's been approved, we, we don't pull those if they've been approved throughout the weekends. Oh, we haven't approved it yet. Well, I know <laughs> that, but if you approve. Well, um, I make a motion we approve the, uh, the signage as outlined. I'll second. I would say aye. 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 And uh, one more item. Consider approval of the <coughs> memorandum of understanding between Knox County Government and the Town of Farragut for road realignment to Farlow Drive. Uh, thank you, Mayor. This, uh, this is an agreement, a uh, memorandum, memorandum of understanding between uh, the Town of Farragut and Knox County, and it deals with the Costco site development, the future Costco site development at the corner of Level Road and Kingston Pike. Um, with that development, there is going to be a traffic signal at the westernmost boundary of that site, and it's uh, depicted on the screen in front of you. Um, with that, the intersection where Farlow Drive, which is in yellow here on your screen, when it intersects Kingston Pike, was becoming an issue for motorists trying to get in and out of uh, Farlow Drive, turning left on the Kingston Pike at peak hours of traffic. So the best alternative was to get Farlow Drive realigned with the actual traffic signal that will be going up with the Costco development. Uh, the county and uh, the town have been discussing this, and the memorandum of understanding before you um, states that the town will contribute up to 25% for that road project, a road realignment project, with a not to exceed amount of $100,000, depending on what happens with the cost of right of way um, and uh, different things like that. So that's before you tonight, and I'll be happy to try to answer any questions, but we would uh, recommend your approval. Yeah, this is really, uh, this site touches so many entities, TDOT, Knox County, the city of Knoxville, and us, and so we've really had to work closely with all of those different governmental uh, bodies to try to make sure this works. Did I, did I understand you say that the town is going to bear 25% of the cost of this realignment? Yes, sir. 100000 Yes, sir, that's correct. And this will be a Knox County project. They'll be the ones that administer the project, uh, bid it out, uh, do all the uh, construction work and everything else. Ours will be after, uh, we'll have to talk about when that all occurs, but probably after the project's completed, then we will get an invoice and we'll pay them for our portion of that project. In my understanding from our prior discussions is that none of this is actually in the town of Farragut, right? That's correct. It's in our urban growth boundary, but is not within the town limits right now. Well, I think we've been through this and talked it over pretty well. I, I, uh, I'm certainly in agreement with it, and uh, and as uh, as Alderman Honkin said, certainly salute the town staff and their uh, work they've done on this. And and I'd like to make a motion to approve. Uh, <coughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Um, town administrator's report. I have nothing further tonight, Mayor. We are missing Assistant Town Administrator and Engineer Recorder's report. I have nothing tonight. There's a check here. It's a funny story about the checks. <laughs> when we, and I guess I didn't tell you all because David and I discussed this um, actually yesterday. In the audit every year, the auditors go through and make sure we get all the 10,000 plus checks approved. Well, when we changed the purchasing regs and we just left in the ordinance the requirements by the state in our new ordinance, that's not that requirement is not included. Well, there's kind of two sides to that. One side is anything over $10,000, you, you guys have to approve it anyway before we can even move forward on purchasing it or the project, whatever it is. So technically, you guys have been approving everything twice. 
So this will just have you approving it once. If you guys would like, I can print you off a list every month of checks that are over 10,000. It's, it's up to you guys how you want me to handle that, or we can continue to have checks approved over $10,000. Okay, well, I already signed this one. That's fine. <laughs> Do you all want that listing every month? That'd well, be nice to see, probably. Okay. It's easy to do. So I just sign them from now on? You just sign them. Okay. Because you have already technically approved those contracts and, and requests for purchases because they are already over $10,000 and we have to put those out for competitive bid. Attorney's report. Report tonight. Well, that ends our agenda. We're now adjourned. <laughs> That's everybody's best part of the meeting when you say nothing to them.